everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to Cafe Dal TV I know I know I know I was supposed to bring a video about why I moved to Houston and what's going on and stuff like that but I didn't want to make a video about my my <laughs> I didn't want to make a video about like what's going on right now so let me just make a wig because I need to look good first to be honest so I made this unit with my old wig I revamped it and I was like you know what I want to show you guys how to revamp the unit just in case you got a whole unit and it's a new year. You want to look good this year. Honey, revamp the unit. It's like, if it's human hair and you pay a lot of money, you could definitely revamp it. So, I want it to look good first. So, I hope you guys like this video. Let's get into it. This is the wig I'm going to revamping. Um, This is the wig I worked so hard in. <laughs> this is the way I went, so this is the way I go to work, and this is the way I like. I did so much with this thing, and I think it is about this wig. This wig is kinky, curly. Um, so this wig is very high maintenance. So I, I'm, I'm, this is not how it's supposed to be. Like, this is not, it's like super dry. Like, I wouldn't say it's not good, but it is kinky. Like, but um, yeah, so this is the perfect, so pretty, like. But, like, it just can't get to that, like, because it's so dry. Like, it just needs some moisture. So, I'm good. This is going to be my 2024 wig. So, I want to create this wig into a wig I'm going to put into the video. Um, because I've been looking at this um, style of how to put this wig. Because, um, I don't have any wig to put on. And I'm really big on with that wig. I love wearing my wigs. And, girl, I don't see how I do wigs. So. If we can make a style, and I'm thinking, if I'm, if I'm going through pictures and I have not seen what that's going to be, I'll style it. It's the wig that I have. Honey, I'm going to put that wig out. Let me go see what it's going to be. What do you have to do? Like I said. So, let me tell you about this wig. This wig I got in uh, 2021 or 2020. This wig is like a little bit old. Um, like... This would have been through a lot. Um, it is a five by five, six by six. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it in a video. It is a five by five, six by six. It does have the little um holes in it. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I don't remember. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't got the book for years, and uh, we're gonna be fixing that. Um, As you can see. The wig went through hell. The wig through went through me working in the kitchen. It went through me working in security. It went through working overnight. It went through me throwing in the back seat. It went through me just not brushing it, not putting water on it. I just be going out. I just be put plopping it on my head, as you can see in the beginning of the video. And I just just I just leave the door house. And sometimes it happens that way. It happens to the best of us, honey. You just you don't even think about your hair. You think about Honey, how these bills gonna get paid? What's the next move? I gotta go to work. I'm almost late. I can't. You know, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so I'm basically teaching you how to revamp your wig. How I normally revamp wigs. I usually revamp customers' wigs when they bring it to me, and I end up bringing it back, bringing it back to new wigs. Usually that are not people think that it, you know they should throw it away because it's nothing. Like I'm like, no, girl, it's not that. It just needs some love, care. Was that a little TLC? I, I forgot what the thing is. <laughs> Tender love and kindness. Tender love. Girl, listen. It just needs some love, honey. Like, it just needs some love. So, I'm going to teach you how I get down on every wig unit. Um, when, especially with curly heck wig units. This is the way to go. So, what I'm doing here, I am going in with my detangler brush. And I am going in through sections. The first thing I usually do is section out the closure. You have to second off the closure first because you don't want to put too much tension on the closure as much as you do in the tracks. And since it is tangled, you, you want to go section by section just to make sure you get through everything. You don't want it to, like, rip or anything. None of my tracks has um, loosened. None of my tracks has fallen out. Like, everything on this unit is, like, still hold up until now. I'm just, right now, checking to make sure, like, what's going on with my hair. So I'm spraying it with some water. Um, make sure it's um like the curls are coming back with just water. Some people that I see like to revamp hair, they like to put water, condition their oils in the water uh, in the water before sp and then spraying it onto the hair. I think that's a mistake because sometimes you wait, you put too much weight on your hair, so you won't know if 
the hair needs hydration. Like when you spray with just water, you can see the hair is supposed to go back to its curl pattern like immediately. Like so sometimes when it don't, you have to do another method, which is another method I would get into it next time. But for this unit, as you can see, when I'm spraying it with water, it's going back to its natural curl pattern. So you are like I am right that the hair do need just a hydration um bath that I'm gonna do in the video. After spraying your hair with just water, if it doesn't come back, usually that means that your hair has heat damage, which is the cause of like constantly putting flat irons, hot combs, anything in your hair that's like constantly too much heat. I did curl my hair using a um a, um a wand curl, so I did um use a heat on my hair at one point, and I don't think I did a revamp at that moment or after that moment. So, like, just, like I said, using water really tell you, like, what's going on in your hair. If your hair um, needs, like, extra, you know, TLC. <laughs> The Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Being felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Debbie. is really really matted i didn't comb it through or brush it through or anything during my um you know excursions through life so as you can see i am finger detangled it with my hands i'm not gonna lie to you guys but this the detangling part did take me two to three hours to go through the hair you might think i'm going like a little rough or anything but i'm really not like i'm really holding it down like i'm really holding my if you see my I put my leg up on the stand i'm holding the stand it's like really a tedious process like you really have to go like section by section just so you can lose as little hair and you know just girl what well, you shouldn't be ripping your hair you shouldn't be ripping girl you need to be patient <laughs> okay so i did go in with my wide tooth comb and my um fine tooth comb wrap tooth comb to with this section because you really need to like be a little bit more like close to the hairline to make sure you get the um tangles from the root too because since i haven't even went through with brush or comb or anything the tangles starting from the like <laughs> freaking the lace child so i really gotta like wet it with the hair um, um brush it through comb it with a white tooth comb and then use the fine comb to make sure i get all the tangles and stuff like that I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Gabby, Stacy, Icky. All of the bobbies is pretty damn. All of the bobbies is bad. It girls, and we can play in tag.
um, detangling the hair. So I'm going to take out the um, twists I put all over the hair just to see what's going on. The curls are popping. The curls are popping. That means I didn't put that much heat in the hair that I can like, you know, like really give, some, give the hair what it really need, which is some hydration girl. So. Okay, the goal is to get the hair to look like this when it's wet and dry. Um, so as you can see, it looks really, really beautiful when it's dry. I mean, when it's wet, but when it's dry, girl, it's going to give you that stale wig. And we don't want that. We don't need that, honey. We don't, uh-uh. Okay, now let's get into the refat water I'm going to put together. Guys, everything you see in this video, I put it in the video, is what I'm going to use in the water and what I'm going to use to wash and dry the hair. So I'm going in with the conditioner of my choice. This is a conditioner that I really, really love. What you need is a moisturizing conditioner, a very high moisture conditioner, because the hair is completely dry. So, I don't know what, it, personally, I know what the hair went through, but <laughs> you need to know what your hair go through. Like, honey, you need to do it. And I know for a fact you see me putting um, fabric softener in there, and you're probably like, girl, now you put a fabric softener, honey, yes, I am putting a fabric softener. Have fabric softener really going to soften, really going to give you give you that look, that smell, and that, that, that softness you need in your hair. It's really, really slept on, but people don't know. People don't know. You see how the hair looks when it's dry? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I see. It was, it was going to embarrass me if I left like that. It was going to embarrass me, so I had to definitely put this water together. So what I did do in this video is mix the water. Definitely mix the water with a brush before putting your wig in. So I'm putting my wig in, I'm dumping it, and I'm, and I'm using the tingling brush to really go through the curls and really um, have every strand penetrate in the water. That's important. I really do this part um, very thoroughly, and I flip the wig upside down. I, I flip it. I'll keep flipping it until um, I get to the nape too, because um, you want all the hair to be penetrated in the water. So, and then you're gonna leave it in the water until the water gets warm. I mean, get, gets cold, and then you're gonna start your um, your washing process. I didn't wash this wig. I didn't um, do shampoo conditioner that usually people do before um, revamping. I don't usually do that process because sometimes um, at the products I put in the water is going to stay on the hair, so I like to wash it off. I don't like to leave it on the hair at all. So the water gets cold, and I forgot to say, I did do silicone mix. Silicone mix, guys, like, it is the holy grail of everything. You got to use silicone mix, you got to use a conditioner, and you got to use the fabric softener. Like, don't sleep on a fabric softener, I'm serious. But look at the water. Water was super dirty, the hair, the wig was super dirty. Like I said, I don't like washing a wig before I uh, revamp first and wash it so I can wash all the products and everything that I put in the water so that so the curls won't be heavy um after it dry. You if you know what I mean, you know if if you ever wash clothes by hand, wash it and then you let it dry and they be like heavy, like it be like you know, it's like you didn't rinse it right. Yeah, I don't want it to happen with my wigs. I like to do that after. So right now I'm going in with my trusted make conditioner and shampoo. Uh, I'm going in with a shampoo first, very thoroughly, just go through every curl, every strands, like I said. I'm um, doing this with my fingers, and I'm flipping the wig. Um, some people don't know how to wash wigs. Like, this is how you should be washing your wig. Be very gentle. Like, some people like to be combing and brushing it. Baby, you could do that, but please do it only with the conditioner. You could do it with shampoo, but only if it's tangled to the point where you can't use your hands for it. Like, for real. Like, if you're shampooing, you shouldn't be combing through your hair. You shouldn't be combing through your hair through conditioner. I am using warm water. Guys, I need you guys to use warm water when washing your wigs, too. Because some people like to use hot water, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, baby. Use warm water. You don't like hot water on your head. We put hot water on the wig head. <laughs> but, yeah. Use warm water. Um, when doing the process, you see the curl, the curl looks so juicy, like, I was really so proud of how the wig is coming out, and it's looking good for me, my 2024 wig, honey, it's looking so good, so right now, I'm going in with a conditioner, I'm going in with my fingers, um, with a conditioner, and then I'm going to use a brush to really make sure I, like, go through every single strand with the conditioner, with this part, I'm going to use cold water. Um, I think these parts is very, 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 very important. Some people like to use warm water when um, washing their wigs with conditioner. I feel like that's what causes frizz and causes your curls to make it look undefined and make it look frizzy and stuff. 
using cold water and letting your hair dry like naturally without using blow dry and everything it makes your curls pop naturally it makes it like it's just it's better it's it's just better and that's that's the part like people be skipping too i just be like maybe you use cold water hot water use what what water you use because i know you i know you miss something so yeah i'm going through the wrap i'm going through it honey this brush i'm telling you i used through everything Y'all see the conditioner flying. Girl, we're going to wash that. It's okay. I washed the same before. We're going to wash it after again, too. And <laughs> look, look. It's looking so good. The curls are popping. Honey, don't skip this technique. After putting the conditioner in the hair, I did put the hair, the wig to the side for like 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure the hair is like properly moisturized with the conditioner and stuff. Like, y'all, this process revamp process takes all day like for me it takes all day because like i'm really one-on-one -on -one with the wig like the wig better be giving you what it's supposed to give it in the process baby like you ain't <laughs> you're not going in the trash honey no <laughs> so right i'm rinsing the hair with cold water key key so rinse the hair with cold water and then um we're gonna i'm gonna show you the after See, look at the cold water did. Look. Look, baby. Let me show you. Ooh. <laughs> These cards are just popping, honey. Look at the hose, honey. Oh, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. Trust me. I fixed it all, honey. So this is the wig right after. <laughs> like, I just took it out. Like, I just put it, I wrapped it um on a towel. And then I just put it on the stand. This is the curl. Just by nothing, no product or nothing. Everything washed off. So what I'm gonna do is separate the closure and I'm gonna separate the thing um the bundles again. I like to personally put my wigs upside down to dry just because I want the curls to pop a little more. I don't know if you know that technique, but that's a technique I always go by. Um sometimes depending on what um hairstyle it is, but this time I'm definitely gonna do it. So I'm going to separate the closure from the bu um, bundles and then I'm going to put the wig upside down until it dries and then I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, you may think, you may be looking at my wig and you be like, why your closure is a little bit different from your um, bundles? My closure is different from my bundles. My closure is a kinky curly, not a afro kinky curly. Y'all, uh, I got this wig during the pandemic. It was a lot going on with this wig. Just don't worry about that part. I'll take guys later. Just look at these curls. Take a look. Look at these bundles. Look at this hair. Like, this is the same hair from the beginning of the video. You guys maybe have thought. Or have, like, you should said it. You should, you're should probably like, girl, you should just throw that shit away. <laughs> but look, honey, this way look looking good, honey. You about to throw it away, it was giving you good money. It was giving you worth the worthwhile, honey. Look. So, look. Look how it went before, how it looked. And then look how it looked after it after it's dry this is dry hair right here like this is the wig um overnight left overnight upside down um it's giving you curl defined no product no nothing i didn't put anything in the hair because i want you to see how it look look how look how oh my god baby this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about this is 2024 this is 2024 where your curls popping you your you know your hair your wig ain't stiff no more so after i styled it this how it looks the hair only has leave-in conditioner i don't put like heavy curling creams as much in the hair that's also important you want you don't want the curls to look sad baby you want it to look juicy and happy so look how it look look the hair is just perfect for black hair stream up perfect for everything i wanted to do in life <laughs> girl and this is the video this is how the hair turned out Babe, I really hope you guys use everything I taught you. I'll see you guys later. Mwah.
Twenty-nine, and we all look good, bro. She said she my eye, but I don't know her. Had to look her 